There's a charter school in Houston which has textbooks from a company called Responsive Education Solutions, or Responsive Ed for short. The founder of the company is a guy by the name of Donald R. Howard. He formerly owned Accelerated Christian Education, which was another uh, you know, company that made textbooks. So this guy has a, a well-known history of pushing, I mean, let's be blunt, some of the dumbest, most biased textbooks in America. So in the textbook, this was just discovered over the weekend, in the textbook that was, it's being used in Houston, it says, quote, Hitler has written that the Aryan race would be the leader in all human progress. Uh, to accomplish that goal, all lower races should either be enslaved or eliminated. Apparently, the theory of evolution and its survival of the fittest philosophy had taken root in Hitler's warped mind. Mm -hmm. So in other words, what he's doing is saying, well, Hitler believed in evolution, so it's bullshit. Now, number one, that's not true. We don't know if Hitler believed in evolution or didn't believe in evolution. Number two, what he's describing is not evolution. What he's describing is eugenics, right? The perversion of evolution that is junk science. It is not science. It's the idea that you can actually, by measuring arbitrary body parts like the size of somebody's nose or you know how long their arms are, you can determine if they are inferior or superior. That's what eugenics is. You try to classify objectively which human beings uh, should be the fittest, right? And you kill off everybody else. So it's got nothing to do with evolution. It's got to do with eugenics, which is a perversion of actual science. It is junk science. There's a reason why eugenics isn't taught in school books today. It's not true, right? But he's saying, well, no, uh, Hitler believed in evolution. Therefore, uh, evolution is wrong. Well, yet again, that's not true is Point number one and point number two, let's say for a second, hypothetically, it was true that Hitler believed in evolution and even was a big proponent of it. Let's say that just for argument's sake. It doesn't matter. It's not an argument against something that an asshole or a genocidal person believed it. That's like saying, hey, Charles Manson believes that two plus two equals four. Okay, so what is, does two plus two not equal four? It still equals four, whether Charles Manson believes it, the Grand Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan, Stalin or whoever. It doesn't matter. The, the, you know, the truth claim of anything is separate from who believes it. That's obvious. That's elementary logic can tell you that. But this guy is such a jackass that he thinks, nailed him. Hitler believed in evolution. Therefore, I'm going to demean it in my textbook. Yeah, what a great textbook you're using there, pal.